Hi, this is PK with Sidecar, and I'm joined today by Dr. Nathan Unruh. We're going to take a few moments to talk about two different words and give you complete definitions of them, but also explain why it's so important to know the difference. Yeah, it's a great concept, and it's a concept I want to highlight today that is so universal and important that applies to every single human being on this earth, regardless of your age, your socioeconomic status, occupation, or your lifestyle. This idea of define, don't defend concept holds tremendous power and the ability to help elevate your life. So let's uh, start, PK, by looking at what are the two definitions of these two words? So first off, define. It's the state or describe exactly the nature, scope, or meaning of. Additionally, mark out the boundary or limits of. So it's really setting an edge is like what we like to talk about. Mm -hmm. Defend is resist an attack made on, on someone or something, protect from harm or danger. Additionally, it can mean to speak or write in favor of, such as an action or person. So it's really an attempt to justify. So big difference between those two words. In one sense, you are justifying. In another one, you are setting a limit or setting an edge. Something that wouldn't need you to justify anything because you've already... Exactly. Set that edge. Exactly. Okay. So on paper, it's easy to see that these two words, they don't hold the same meaning, Mm -hmm. nor do they represent the same behaviors. However, they are often used in place of one another incorrectly, which ends up leading to emotional debates, heated disputes, and can even lead to a loss of relationships. So I think the opportunity we have here today in this discussion is to really look at define and don't defend. And what that presents itself whenever... It's outside the opinions of others, controversy can arise. So let's dive into define a little bit more. Just as the definition states, to define is to declare exactly who you are, what you do, and how you do it. Marking out exactly where you stand and supporting your stance with facts, data, and your past experiences. When you are challenged, define the facts of why you do what you do. And then defining the situation allows you to keep your emotions out of the situation and maintain a level head. Because here's what we know, PK. Mm -hmm. When emotions are high, logic is low. And things get said a lot of times that you maybe can't take back, but it's unnecessary, basically. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And think about this idea and this whole concept we're talking about today in every area of your life, Mm -hmm. whether it be in your business, whether it be in interactions with, with the customers that you are serving, whether it be within your faith, with taking care of your children. Raising kids. Raising Whoa, kids. This is um, perfect. This concept is a big deal. And if we own it, it really makes a difference with us within our lives. So let's take a look and dive into defend a little bit more. Defending contains components such as resisting, protecting, and justifying. To most, these components aren't enjoyable, nor do they create a positive feelings in relationships. So by defending your position, you open yourself up to increased emotion and will ultimately initiate a potential hostile interaction. And I think we've all been there. Mm-hmm. More times than I'd like to admit. Yes. And so I think being able to take a step back, letting what we call the neocortical component of our brain take over and not get too caught up in the limbic side of our brain, which would be the emotion. So the difference between define and defend. When you define and don't defend, you can have clarity and peace in knowing that you are in line 100% with your vision. It also creates a take it or leave it situation where the person you're speaking with is informed exactly what it is you do and what you believe in and now has the opportunity to either partake in your vision or your product or your service or choose to do something else. So no feelings are hurt. You didn't lose anybody. You simply encounter somebody and give them a choice to make a decision Mm -hmm. based upon the facts. It helps to eliminate or decrease emotions. And with the whole idea what we already talked about, when emotions are high, logic is low. So defining shuts out the opinions and decreases the emotion. When you define exactly who you are, what you do, and how you do it, it makes relationships much more rich. It helps to set the edges. Well, and I think too, even for the emotion side and everything that you can expend in defending something, you think of it from a time management standpoint, 
Think of the time that you would save even in your work situation. If everything was clearly defined and you have your goals and your vision and anything outside of that, you don't have to defend it because that's already been stated. I love it. Yes. It's a simple concept, but so powerful. 